Current time is now 7.24 p.m. here in Seoul, South Korea. It's time for Kim young Des Back to the Culture. And back joining us in the studio, dressed like a sidelined football head coach, is young Dae. Hello. What, what, I don't think a head coach gives those kind of... That's baseball head coach. Oh, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stick it football because we're talking about uh, your Seahawks. Speaking or, of Hawaii, yeah. I, I really want to go there. You you said I, you went, I, I've been there. You um, went there once. I've been to Iowa just once. Once, just once. Uh, well, which I was saying one more time. <laughs> yeah, one more time than I I have ever gone. Uh, one day you know, I'll go to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. I went there like five years ago, and it was you know, one of the best memories of my life. Oh, you know, I, I love everything about it. I mean, uh, the the tender breeze, you know, at the Waikiki beach, yeah. and uh, and the, the water. I mean, sea water. It's, it's kind of lukewarm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not cold. Oh, I don't. And, I wonder uh, how that. You know, feels. sunset yacht. Yeah. You know, you 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 put your uh, feet on the on the water. You know, drinking beer, everything. Everything is just just fantastic. It's it's like a dreamy experience. I'm telling you, I, I, that's one of those places I need to go to. And it, it's my wife always complains because I do a lot of these uh, events for Hawaii related travels, and uh, I've never been to Hawaii. Well, what did so. you do when you were when you're in the states? I was where, in, where, where where did you go? New York City. Where else? Uh, Cancun? No. <laughs> I, w- I traveled nowhere. 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 I went to Chicago once, oh and that was th- th- that's barely anything. But uh, yeah, I've never. I didn't go anywhere. Uh, when I went I to Chicago in- four times. Four times. I went there once, and I got lost, and I ended up in Michigan. You know, mostly, mostly um, academic conference. Is in Chicago for me. Yeah. And there's a lot of good schools there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of. A cat academic. Uh, there is a lack of academic going on because it's it's winter vacation apparently. Yeah. And uh, marking the winter vacation. What do you remember? What, what, what you, you used doing? to do? What? What are you What are you doing these days? What am I doing these days? I'm hosting Korea. Yeah, yeah, except, except, for, except for this. I I'm working out a lot. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to the gym all the time. Why? Why do you Porsche. ask? What no. are you, What are you doing these days? It's not just a winter same, vacation for same us. Same here. Yeah. Same thing. Same here. You but know, you have two kids. Routine. Two, two kids, so so what? Winter vacation. Yeah. So what's their winter Yo, vacation? They're homeschooling, actually. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, so not much difference, you know? That's uh, right. There's not much difference. I mean, the, either they are doing doing homework or not. That's, just, that's the only difference. Yeah, because you chose today's topic because it's winter vacation season. And usually during winter vacation season for us, uh, when we were kids, we just all we did was watch cartoons. We watch TV a lot. A lot of television. Lot. Like, that's the, the, some of the best privilege. Best, um, I mean, at least that's, uh, you are allowed to, to watch some of, the, some of your favorite show, right? Do you during like, the winter vacation. Yeah, do you remember like the televisions that we used to have? If you touch the television, it goes... Aesthetic. <laughs> static. They're static. <laughs> Nowadays, obviously, it's everything. It, like, it used to be called brown. Brown gun. Brown gun. <laughs> uh, what, what, what is that? I mean, CLT monitor type of thing, right? It basically t- comes out right yeah. in the back. I don't know if any of our listeners who are uh, old enough know those Can kind of televisions these days. Can you imagine 14-inch TV? You know, every family member is watching, you know, from a distance, watching 14-inch TV. Yep. But still, we were doing fine, right? My laptop is 14 inches, and that's, <laughs> and that's considered a small laptop. So uh, that's that's what we have it. So we decided to walk on memory lane. And uh, for our listeners out there, I don't know if you guys know any of these uh, old school Korean, uh, the, the cartoons that Koreans used to watch uh, back in the days. We, I, I mean, by we, I, I mean male. <laughs> Korean men. Uh, no, that's not no, true. No, 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 no. Korean men. Why? Still in uh, in this slam dunk phenom. Th- that's true. Okay, so a lot of guys right now, and I'm I'm glad that you brought this topic as well because it's not just because it's winter vacation, but this slam dunk craze right now in Korea, it is, is unbelievable, ridiculous. You know how crazy it is? Is that I went to a, a department store, right, uh, over the weekend. And I always pass by the N Sporting Center, mm-hmm. uh, the N Sports uh, Goods area. And there was a bunch of guys on the basketball shoes area. <laughs> and then you know what the wives are saying? They're, they're all husbands, right? And then they're going, <laughs> You're going to play basketball once and you're going to stop playing. Maybe that's an uh, excuse, right? For you to buy some, <laughs> some nice sneakers that you dream of. They're all trying to buy basketball like Jordan, shoes. Jordan, you know, but... 
but it's slam dunk. How can you not? If you're if you're like me, I mean, if you're from a kind of same gen, not same similar generation. Oh, you know, we all grew Gen-X. up with slam dunk. We were we were, we were kind of a uh, bit different generation. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I'm a I'm a bit late X Gen X, and you're um you're millennial, right? I'm considered a millennial, yes. <laughs> MZ. Ooh. No, don't don't put me with M- <laughs> don't, don't 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 put me in MZ. I will, okay. I will I will kick you out of the studio. <laughs> don't put me with MZ. Question with this, even though because we're kind of we're the ones uh, the generation that can understand each other. Right, right. We don't understand the other generation. Mm. But my question is because I also grew up uh, reading Slam Dunk, uh, but a little bit later, not mm. as a kid, but maybe as a not young, as a kind of contemporary. No, 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 no. I was as a young adult I watched it. My question is, I know that Slam Dunk was a Japanese uh, a comic book, comic book turned into anime. Yeah, translation. Uh, but here in Korea, it was equally as big. I'm wondering if there was like a uh, a Korean uh, it, I can't call it can you call it a soundtrack was there a soundtrack to Slam Dunk in Korean um as a as a CD or LP just like I, any I, kind I of don't song think so no yeah but the, there are, are tons of um you know Korean version of um the original soundtrack like Park Sang Min's so this was a like what was it? This was a track for Slam yeah, Dunk. Yeah, yeah, for um for animated film. Oh, okay. Can we listen to this song because I've yeah. never li- I don't I, I never knew that this has actually existed. Yeah, honestly, the the cartoon uh, the the comic book was masterpiece. The animation version of uh, Slam Dunk was eh, you know kind of meh, but it was still watchable. But the 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 one that just released, yeah, the first Slam Dunk, it it is absolutely nice so, so the movie is really really good amazing amazing C- completely different perspective uh, a lot of uh, new footage and uh, uh, kind of new settings that you know that may would make you you know surprised wow do you do you want to use a uh, headphone or something okay okay uh, um, there's a headphone next to it I, I feel like I'm the only one that is enjoying this song right now uh, Yang Guru who's in Aja as well says, Slime Dunk movie so popular uh, among my co-workers right now. And yeah, I, I, everyone's been talking about this uh, movie. I haven't had a chance to watch this, but I didn't know that there was actually a song uh, in regards to this. Uh, but let's talk about non-Slam Dunk thing. <laughs> you know... When you're growing up as a young kid, uh, this was one of my first uh, TV cartoons I watched. Um, and uh, I watched this uh, when I first, oh, speaking of immigrants, when I first immigrated to the United States, 1992, uh, I was in New York City, and there was one channel, Channel 17, that had Korean channel uh, back then. So you say you, you watched Korean, Korean anima- animation when you just got to, to Korea? To, uh, because I couldn't... No, 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 no. To, uh, to uh, sorry, US. to the United States, oh. because I didn't understand English, right? Okay. And so I found out oh, that there yeah, was yeah. a Korean channel. Makes sense. And this cartoon came out. What and, is that? And after I watched this cartoon, I tried so hard every single night. I got in so much trouble for this every night, by the way. You sing again to, and again and again? No, to try to do Prukot shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the legendary cartoon Piku Wang Probably Tuki. most unreal sports <laughs> animation ever. It's not, it's based on Dodgeball, basically. Dodgeball King Tonki. Tonki. Right? And, you know, I want to explain to everyone our listeners what this is about. This is a kid in his elementary school. His father was a legendary dodgeball player. Right, right, right. And he ran away. And did he run away? Is that what it was? You know, the in in animation, you know, you know, nobody nobody actually said about anything about his dad. But actually, in the original script, uh-huh. original the, the the comic book, the the father was not dead. He just ran away. He just left the family to become a superstar dodgeball player. That is a terrible dad. Really cruel, right? That is terrible dad. Amazing. I, mean, I, I thought, see, Yang Gurum says, Tonki no, no, he didn't die. He see, didn't die. That's what I thought was, I thought that's, Tonki's dad died that's playing volleyball. That's the biggest uh, misunderstanding. Uh, he just ran away? He just ran away. That is a terrible dad. Is he paying yeah. child support? Because, because uh, it sounds so horrible. The, the I think, uh, as far as I... Um, Understand the Korean, you know, broadcaster. They slightly um, they changed the dialogue or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So obviously he was not there. Yeah. So he, the, he just ran away. The prequel shoot that I was talking about is uh, if you palm <laughs> the ball in the shape of a fire flame, 
And then if you throw it a certain way, it's the uncatchable <laughs> throw is what it is. With with flame. With flame. With, with flame. Oh, by the way, mm. uh, this cartoon is fun. But did you know that they had a Piku Wang Tonki movie? One of the no. worst directed movie. Haven't heard of it. It's so bad, it's fun to watch. It, it, it is just a kind of compilation of the certain scenes? or uh, Yeah, or, basically or... the entire uh, story of uh, you know, Tonki and him joining. But it's, a, it's, a, it's not, it's not so, a cartoon. So what's the, what's the problem? It's not, the problem is, is that Tonki uh, is this kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, his teammates are like 30 years old. But, <laughs> but they play elementary school kids. <laughs> And when Tonki does the uh, the f- jump, flip Do around... Do they look like a 30 years or, or, or old or they are, you know, officially 30 years? No, no, no. They, they, I think they're... I, I really think... Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to find this for you. I'm, you're gonna, for our anyway. listeners out there, just or any of our Korean listeners, uh, Pigu Wang Tonki... You know what? The very interesting, interesting part of this, this whole mechanism of like a pulko shoot or other like super super throw right the only thing that is um that that can make this possible is just shouting yes <laughs> <Right>? so <laughs> you have to shout pulko okay. shoot that's the only thing that's the only thing you can do that's other right. than that completely uh, you know uh, uh, unimaginable Look at, it's look, not possible. I want all. you to look at the uh, the teammates that? that he's going into. So this is oh Tonki, God, and then look a... at his teammates who are about like 30 years old, 20, 20 30 years old. And there's oh, also not animation. It's not an animation. It's a real life action uh, film that they made of <laughs> uh, Pikwang Tonki, and it's they, they're considering this one of the worst movies ever made. The, the title says it all. Yeah. Uh, this, the legendary to... real movie that completely g- destroyed the, the kids. <laughs> dream or you know <laughs> this 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 movie i i just watched uh, uh the, the the real uh what is it the, who's the uh the actor with this uh can can we hear the the yeah let's the listen, song? Can we listen Tonki? to the piguang tonki song because is, uh, i grew up with this it song. is a masterpiece yeah yeah our producer I, is no? away right now said no okay no, no 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 we have i think we might have this song we'll play this song but this song this oh there it is is this it There you go. Oh. Oh, I can see Oh. This is when he's running by the, yeah, the, 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 ocean, the ocean side. The ocean right? side. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> Our producer has uh, graciously oh, okay, provided. Okay, the, the subtitle could be misleading, so that's not me. <laughs> None of that. None of those. <laughs> it says Kim Young is back to the culture. No, no, no. That's not my childhood. <laughs> yeah that's that's <laughs> no not me not me those are the actors that played elementary school kids <laughs> look at those muscles look at does that make sense and so this mm. is a kid that uh he plays on the other side forget his oh, name the, 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 um Taiga Taiga Taiga, Taiga. Taiga. he goes to America I right, think or right, something like right, that right. and because he came back from America his hair is uh yellow <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. We have to look at Tonki. Let's uh, show our listeners how Tonki looks like. <laughs> the face looks like Tonki. Yeah. But the hair is. That's not how Tonki is supposed to be like. Tonki. Fighting. <laughs> Pigu. Wang. That's right. Oh wow. my gosh. You know, all after all these years, we still remember the lyrics to this. Amazing. It uh, this is incredible it, here. It, it takes forever these days for me as a music critic to uh-huh. remember a certain names and certain important significant artists, you know, for the Grammys and you know Emmys and Academies. So that's my biggest frustration. Yeah, because I just can't remember any names <laughs> these days. That, <sighs> but you know, with, with that kind of I don't know, it, it, was that important? What to our we- lives? I don't know the, the the little lyrics or something like that. All the details. It's because, but you know, we still remember that. You know, the crazy thing is nowadays uh, when everything is on OTT. Yeah. The intros we skip the intros. Right. right? In right. fact, there's yes. a button for skip the intro, yeah. and we just press enter and we skip. But back yeah. before, when we watched it on uh, television, mm-hmm. there was no skip. No skip. So we had to watch the introduction, and so when we're watching and commercial the intro- as well, and the commercials as yeah. well. And so that's why we're so used to, you know what? If we're forced to watch the introduction, 
Might as well just sing along with this mm -hmm. and uh, have fun with this. Dragon Ball was the other uh, the, the, the cartoon that I remember watching. If you really have to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> what, Dragon Ball? You know, you, you just cannot watch the film, right? So you, you cannot leave the place. Oh, no, no, you can't. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. have to watch it real time, right? Yeah, you from, have to. from the begin beginning to the end. Yeah. Uh, drag did, did you watch Dragon Ball, the cartoon, though? Dragon the Ball. The animated Dragon series? Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah, for me, Dragon Ball is... Just, just comic book? Yeah, just comic book. <laughs> I watched some of... Well, because I mean, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, original Dragon Ball, and then Dragon Ball Z... And then uh, some of the kind of variation, kind of spin-off mm -hmm. of original Dragon Ball, you yeah. know, which is uh, slightly different from the original comic book. So. Yeah, they kind of, uh, they went along too much. They went to like Dragon Ball GT yeah. and stuff like that. And it's too much. Uh, we have to listen to a another legendary cartoon with a legendary song, Una Charto Kugugu. Oh. Right? So, yeah, that's... Um... So I didn't watch this. But you know the song. I know the song, and uh, the song I believe is uh Gunachurto Kugugu by Kingu Khan. And we right. mentioned Kingu Khan before. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you have to know this. So there are three uh, legendary cartoon animation OST singer. Uh -huh. uh, one of them is Kim Gook Khan, and uh, the uh, the other one is Chung Yeojin. And uh, her, her uh, father, her late father, was also an amazing composer. So he, she was, uh, as, as a kid, she was uh, one of the most sought-after um, animation singer. But Kim Gook Khan is definitely another one. Yeah, uh, and then because Kim Gook Khan also did Mekanda V, right? Mekanda, Mekanda, Mekanda V. Oh my goodness, these songs, now I'm starting to uh, remember now because... But now I realized how much important... You know, the those, songs are those, the songs are to yeah. remember or um re remember the, the 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 animation or movie certain way, right? Yeah, yeah. So come to think of it, I think uh, the the song, I think there are two very crucial and uh, very substantial and uh, almost decisive factor in uh, in a kid's uh, animation. Mm -hmm. One is OST, one is the opening theme or the ending song. The other one is transformation sequence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, especially because... <laughs> United! What, what is that? I don't know. Cause I, assemble! No, because when I when I watched growing up, uh, do you remember Hureshimen? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, because Hureshimen was, ladies and gentlemen, Hureshimen was probably like the original Power Rangers. Absolutely. Uh, before Absolutely. Power Rangers uh, came out, there was a thing called uh, Hureshimen or Flashman. Flashman. And there was these five teens from outer space uh, and then, uh, oh my gosh, I, I wish I could listen to that uh, the song once again. Because Did Freshman fight um, against Godzilla? No, no, that's, oh, uh, that's, that's a, Ultraman. That's, Ultra <laughs> that's Ultraman. And uh, we can't play any Soteji songs. <laughs> <laughs> so Ultramania is out of it. Uh, but oh, Don Pak says Toksuri Ohyangje. Yeah, but uh, but uh, the, the the real uh, the real thing is um, they're not Hyangje. There's a sister too, right? No, 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 no. no? They're, they're, they're all friends. They're all friends? They're not related. They're not brothers? Yeah, so Oh Hyungjae is a misleading uh, term. So Oh Hyungjae would just mean that they're, they're like sisters and brothers. Oh. But they're not relatives at all. Interesting. I never mm. thought of that. Uh, because Toksuri Oh Hyungjae is one of those things that like, like I passed by, but I never really got into it. Oh, I'll... maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Are they really brothers and sisters? Uh. <laughs> Oh, you see, Yangurum is definitely Aja Bioman. Bioman was the, the yeah, one yeah that... it, it came out much later. Yeah, right? yeah. Kureshman was the original. I, I always Mask liked Maskman. Uh, yeah, I Mask remember Maskman. Uh, what was um, it? Uh, do you remember Spilban? What? What is it? Oh that? my goodness, you don't know Spilban? No. See, all of this is originated yeah, a... from Japan. Right, right, right. Because I mean, the, the Japan they they built this you know great giant uh, animation and the uh, cartoon industry. And uh, yeah, it was the the biggest um, export. You know, there's the uh, there's one thing that I'm learning for the first time. I cannot believe this. What I did not know that Talyora Honey mm -hmm. was sung by Lee Sun Hee. Yeah, and that makes sense. That does make sense. I I, I just did not know that that was uh, sung by Lee Sun Hee. Mm. Uh, what is it? Uh, another other iconic songs here. Agi Gongyong Tuli. Yeah. Yori Bogo. <laughs> 
조리바도 둘리 알수 없는 둘리 Let's let's listen to a 달려라 하니 바야 이선이 because this is a another very uh, famous uh, cartoon back in the days. Nostalgic song. Yeah. See, it has that like the eighties, nineties cartoonish uh, overuse of the trumpet. That's not real trumpet, though. It's not. It's in the synthesizer. Oh, really? Yeah. Because in the eighties, it's uh, they they started to use a lot of like a the computer thing, right? Uh, yeah. uh, the synthesizer and uh, MIDI. So it's all fake. You know, I didn't watch Talyora Honey. Is is he? Is she just trying to find her mom? Is that what it's about? Why? Why is she? No, it stop- was. I mean, it's just this uh, kind of struggles and overcoming um, her personal life to become a uh, become a champion. I mean, that that's uh, that's the main, you know, the, the gist of the main story. Oh, champion as in like yeah. running champion. Yeah, runner. Why is runner. she talking about how much she loves her mom then? Um. <laughs> <That's> how- <laughs> uh, Agi Yangurum says Agi Gongyong Tuli OST is a really good city pop. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Don Pack says Candy. See now, n- now that we're talking about the, all the all the ages are coming out. Ages. All the ages are coming Omma out. Oh, much as I can see that that the ages, uh, generation. Oh, much as I That's another sad story. I I've never seen such a sad story. You know that the whole. The whole episodes of Amma Chata Hamari is one kid, this little kid that's trying to find a mom, find his mom who ran away. Oh, our, our uh, reporter Seung says Honey's mom passed away when she was young. That's yes, why, yes, that's, that's why, why she was that's saying, why. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, did, I, I never watched Her uh, father raised uh, her. Um, Right? In- interesting. Yeah. So the yeah. F- oh that that's just okay. That's that's a sad song there. Keguri mm-hmm. Wangnuni. Uh, another thing that uh, I remember. It, now we, there's no there's not a lot of this anymore uh, nowadays. I mean we grew up with all these like incredible songs uh, that I mean Robot to Tekon we we all sang to this. Uh, what is it? What other songs is is there? Grandaijo. What what's where's Grandizer? <laughs> you know, you, we don't have it here, but the uh, Grand Grandizer, the, the the robot animation was uh, another popular, um, you know, animation. Is there is there any nowadays? <laughs> our, our producers found it. Uh, is is this is that what it is? Grandizer <laughs> yeah. by Park Jun Young. <laughs> this is not the Park Jun Young that we know, right? I don't remember the original right? singer. Uh, I don't even I don't even know that. Uh, that would be the original version, but um, yeah, Grandizer. Uh, I don't, what, what is the official title? UFO, UFO something Grandizer. Oh, yeah. really? I, I, I've never heard of yeah. this before. Okay, okay. And I don't know this art. The only Park Chun Young I know. GOD? It's GOD Park Chun Young. That's, that's Park Chun Young. So, oh, Young, that's Young, right? That's right. <laughs> So you remember the even the lyrics? You know, when I was a kid, I used to have this kind of compilation, you know, theme song compilation cassette tapes. Oh. So I, I I listened to it over and over. So uh, even if I don't remember any episodes of certain certain you know the animation, I still remember the theme song because that's. That's uh, in my generation. That was uh, a really important part of our repertoire. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, as a as a kids' music. Being right? able to being able to remember the songs. Yeah. That's I remember that because when I went to kindergarten in in, uh, in Korea, we all when we met up with the kids, uh, we all sang the the Hulesh Men uh, opening song. It, I remember. It's a very Korean tradition, right? The adults would ask you to sing sing a song, and you sing an opening. To Whenever, one of the wherever, cartoons. right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, ben, Benny says uh, Pokemon also has a Korean opening song, but. Speaking of uh, Pokemon, you know, and then I went to, I immigrated to the United States. And when I was in, uh, was it uh, middle school, first grade, Pokemon started coming out. And that Gotta Catch Em All song, that was a huge earworm. Are and, you ready for the kind of most elaborate theme song do ever? It. Let's round this out with the most elaborate. Elaborate, uh, like high quality, unnecessary high quality animation song. Yes. Next. Oh, Lazenka save us. <laughs> I was going to ask you about this question because Lazenka save us. First of all, what is Yeongun Kibyeong Lazenka? It's a Korean uh, Korean um, animation. It, okay. Is it about like a robot or something like that? Is it... oh, honestly, I haven't really watched it. 
but uh, the, this album, the soundtrack album, is still considered as one of the most important Korean rock albums of all time. And produced song. by one and only Shin Hye Chol, performed by one of the greatest rock band of all time. Next, and then guitarist uh, Kim, Guitar Kim Se Hwang, bassist Kim Young So, and uh, the song. Listen to it. It, it is not. Ki See. Can you imagine a five-year-old sitting in front of the television watching this yeah. cartoon? It's like Led Zeppelin. Can you imagine? Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, and other guys, they play uh, a uh, the theme song for, uh, like, like what? Um, G.I. Joe? <laughs> the same situation. Guys, Lazenka save us. You know, when uh, Next and Shinetra perform this kind of song, you know, the turns out, you know, the, the, uh, the lights are out, and the drum rolling. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> it's too Everyone's much. Everyone's gone crazy. It's too much for a kid's show. This is where we're going to end it. Unfortunately, we wish we had some more time on this. But Young Day, thank you very much for helping us walk down memory lane once again. I'm going to check out some of these cartoons once again. Have a safe rest of the week. We'll see you again. See you next week. You can listen to Korea Now with me, SJ Lee, by downloading the Adidang Radio application or tune in online by visiting www.adidangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Korea time.